Cardiism is a calcium channel blocker. We're going to be giving it for that irregular narrow complex tachycardia, that AFib with RVR. So how does it work? It's a, it inhibits calcium influx in the cardiovascular and the vascular smooth muscle de during depolarization. This is what's going to hopefully stop that AFib with RVR. The nice thing about Cardizem is the onset is two to five minutes. All right. So the contraindications are going to be sick sinus syndrome, high, uh, heart blocks, hypotension, and CHF. Now remember, this is a calcium channel blocker. It's going to cause vascular smooth muscle relaxation. So we're going to expect some mild hypotension. This is why you got to pay attention for your contraindication with the blood pressure less than 100, because you're going to cause some mild hypotension. That's going to cause your patient to be dizziness, weak. They're going to complain of headache and sometimes nausea. So how are we going to administer this? If we have that AFib with RVR, our initial dose is 0.25 milligrams per kilogram up to 25 milligrams. This has got to be pushed very slow, IV or IO, over two minutes. Remember, the onset is two to five minutes. So by the time you finish pushing that over two minutes, you should hopefully have some conversion of that AFib with RVR. If not, and their BP is still greater than 100, then you can get them an additional dose of 0.25 milligrams per kilogram up to 25 milligrams slowly over two minutes. All right. Once you have conversion of this patient, you're going to make your maintenance dose. The maintenance dose is going to be five milligrams over an hour. I encourage you to look at your hand heavy. That's going to help you mix your drip and help you with a drip rate. The nice thing about the TCRs coming is we're going to have IV pumps. So you're going to be able to mix it, hook it on the IV pump, plug in your patient's weight, and it's going to do a maintenance infusion for you automatically with all the drip rates that we have figured out. On your protocol, you're going to look at the uh, cardiac narrow complex tachycardia, and that's CO3.